Yeah, 2019 was pretty hectic because there was a lot of new stuff for me. I was racing for track factory racing for the first time. I would say always the first year is, is a big learning experience and we definitely had that. I had some good results, but it was also the first time in six years that I didn't win a single World Cup round. Some highlights was for sure the European Champion title. I won silver at World Championships and silver at the World Cup overall. Not an outstanding season, but super solid and just room to improve. <laughs> Luca is my boyfriend and he lives in Pisgah Forest, North Carolina. So I spend a lot of time at his place and we ride together, we train together. Yeah, it's definitely countryside. The nature around there is amazing for, for riding bikes. So it's way different to Switzerland where you, you can walk five minutes and you're in the supermarket. <laughs> but I love it. When you start dating an American, you think he'd have like a big roomy truck <laughs> that you just spread out in. I rented an F-150. The best thing was when I... two weeks she came. <laughs> the best thing was the first time I got here, he had just uh, left his window open. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Forgot to close it. So like the whole inside was soaked and it smelled so bad. <laughs> it was actually really gross. <laughs> We usually cook together, Luca and I. Walker is most often at work, so I would say usually we take care of the cooking. <laughs> yeah, just ticking it off. <laughs> I'm mostly just like careful about where it comes from. Like beef, for example, at home we always have it directly from a farmer that we know personally. We have the milk directly from a farm. We have all the vegetables from a local farmer. It's more like, yeah, I eat everything but I'm happy to know where it comes from. <laughs> getting so many. Good, we are gonna get some yogurt. You're from where? Switzerland. <gasps> Switzerland! <gasps> oh gosh, isn't that wonderful? Oh. What's it like in Switzerland? Um, mountains. Mountain? Big mountain. Now, whenever I see her on television, I saw her. <laughs> we know somebody famous. Yay! Get my picture, get a picture, get a picture. Whenever I ride my bike, I, I want to have fun. It's not like I'm looking at numbers or trying to do certain things. Most of the time I just, yeah, do whatever feels best and what, what is fun to me. And that's why I ride every day because it's, it's always fun. Yeah, so he gave me a scooter as a Christmas present and we are using it for motor pacing. Like especially with rolling hills, it's really good because you can go over them really fast and push a lot of watts at the same time and it's something you cannot like, on your own you cannot do it. I love it that we can share that and yeah, help each other. To me, it's so much fun. I feel like I'm in a computer game <laughs> whenever I do that. Walker is Luca's older brother, and I would say they are almost <laughs> like twins. But their personalities are quite a bit different, I would say. Luca is much more calm and, and quiet, and Walker is full on, <laughs> going, going 100%, so I think it's a great combination. 
Kaylee is Walker's girlfriend and it's always fun to hang out with her because she's always up for an adventure. Oh, dude, look Olympic year, you need a downgrade to CC. <laughs> no, I have never ever ridden dirt bikes much. I think one time in my life. I know I will just go full gas and I have to be careful and uh, slow myself down. I don't think it's a good idea. To get like, it. it. You're not going to have time to ride today. Well, in the first place, it was their idea to get a motor, like a dirt bike for us. Let's you just need to just sleep. Okay. Take this Do trash in case that uh, the car doesn't work. Uh, yeah. yeah, you take it. Uh. <laughs> we just had to make sure it happens. <laughs> you know what? Why don't Walker and you just go to the track and yeah, ride we'll go, we'll go and we the bike. go get the bike? That's music to my ears, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. And then Walker will be happy, you will be happy, we will be happy. Wait, what are you saying? We're going to go get the bike. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I'm going to do it. <laughs> we looked it up on the internet, so we knew exactly which bike we wanted to get. Yeah. Honda 125. Big wheel. Yeah. And so we walked in there and yep. within five minutes Perfect. we had the bike. It was super easy and the guy was super easy and Walker's like, it'll take oh, hours. hours to bargain with it. Oh, Shut God. up. We can just <laughs> <laughs> It was almost too easy and we just felt like we just tell them we, we got two. <laughs> you will be happy. Oh, I mean it's true, look how many they have. The first moment, I think they were hesitating a little bit, like, is it true, is it not? An hour, right? Less well, than an less, hour? Less, less than an hour, for sure. Yay. <laughs> and Luca said to me, send me a photo <laughs> of the two bikes. And we were like, oh, now we have a problem. Okay. <laughs> Let me put this up. Okay, so I think if you're up there, I'll stand on the ground. Uh -huh. Wait. Oh, okay, okay, here we go. No, it's fine. We're up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good job. We survived. We put the bike with Kaylee on it in front of the garage. Yeah, just like that. Move the bike <laughs> two meters to the side. Then I was on the bike oh and we just, took a photo and then I just cut it together. <laughs> Mine looks bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Just say Kaylee got a 250. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's electric start, isn't it? <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. To release it really slowly yeah. so that it like picks up. Why did the... it just cut off? I don't know what it's in it, Maybe I turned it around. Yeah. Oh, it, it doesn't, doesn't move. move. By the time they, come, they came home a couple hours later, they were actually at a point where they were like, sweet, we have two bikes now, that's even better. You guys are crazy. Are you mad at us? No. <laughs> oh my god, I'll leave you two alone for five minutes. The garage is gonna be full. When they walked into the garage and there was only one bike, it was almost a disappointment. We spent no, I know, right? It was so much hype. <laughs> I knew it. So we went from like real, like holy crap, like oh my god. So then, like by the end of the day, we were like, it's gonna be sick to have two. Like, <laughs> I feel like my winter has been a good winter in terms of I was with good people all the time and, and that, that's key for me. I felt really, really good on that day and we had just done a big block of training and I felt really comfortable on my bike and yeah, it was so much fun. It was a corner that went a little bit to the right and when you came from the top, you only kind of saw the exit that was pointing towards the left. 
And I came with a lot of speed, so I took off. And then when I was in the air, I realized like, ah, it actually turns to the right. Yeah, I've broken bones before and I kind of know what it feels like and I could just tell something was wrong. Well, I don't think like in the moment of the crash or afterwards you like thinking about like, is this real or whatever. <laughs> I think you're just in survival mode. They were pretty quick in doing the, the surgery and then they put me in that intense care station. It was amazing the support from Luca and his family and they were with me like every minute that they could. On the 25th of December we left the hospital. I didn't really feel amazing yet, but it was Christmas and it was also Luca's birthday. Then I just went straight to bed and I would say for probably a week. So many people, I think they, all they are worried about is the Olympics and if I can make it. And to me, that's, that's not on my screen for the moment, you know. It's like, I just want to get healthy and get, get back to riding my bike. That's, that's all I want. <laughs>